Hey guys, today's video is super exciting because it's my birthday! Well, technically today is not my birthday, but it's like the Sunday before my birthday and the day that this video goes live is my actual birthday, the 17th of October. So, it's technically but not technically my birthday. I am like one of these people that celebrates my birthday week. So it's Sunday, my birthday is on Wednesday. I get to celebrate starting today. Tonight I'm actually heading out with my family and Ben for some Mexican and some cocktails. This is like a birthday tradition for me. Every year since I can remember, since I was like, I don't know, like five years old, I have eaten Mexican as my birthday celebration dinner. And because my birthday is in the middle of the week, we are going to celebrate tonight instead. So I thought I would do a little birthday glam because why the hell not? If you're gonna be sipping on sangria, then you may as well look good while doing it, right? So this video is actually in collaboration with Neutrogena and I'm gonna be using their skincare products to prep my skin before I do full glam birthday makeup. You guys know I never do full glam. It is like very rare for me, but I feel like birthday is the perfect occasion to pull out some full glam. So that's what I'm gonna do. The only thing is that I feel like my skin might freak out a little bit. I've been filming nonstop all week because Ben and I are going on a little holiday to the Gold Coast at the end of this week and I have been literally just pumping out content so I feel like I've had makeup on for like a week straight so I'm gonna start off by kind of detoxing and cleansing my skin before I go in with like even more full glam so I'm gonna start off by prepping my skin with the Neutrogena deep clean purifying cleansing and face mask so this doubles up as a cleanser and a face mask. So what I've done is I've already cleansed my skin off camera because that's kind of like a little bit hard to show you. Like I would have to bring the camera into my bathroom and set it up at the bathroom sink. So we didn't do that, but I am going to use it as well as a face mask. So let's get into the birthday prep, shall we? This lighting is honestly crazy. It is raining outside. It is so gloomy. It's been like this for the last like three days in Brisbane and it's honestly so sad. Hopefully the sun comes out for my little holiday at the end of the week because Gold Coast isn't going to be much fun in the rain. So the reason I'm using this mask is because it is a super, super, super deep purifying mask. So it's going to take out all of the nasties in my skin before I basically do another full glam. There's nothing worse than feeling like you've just been layering and layering and layering makeup. Like no matter how well I clean my skin at the end of the day, I still kind of feel like my skin's not completely free of it all until I do a really heavy face mask like this. So little tip, if you wear a lot of makeup, it is really important to take care of your skin and make sure that you are cleansing it and detoxing it and getting all of the nasties out as well. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry for five minutes and then I'm going to rinse it off, pat my skin dry and I'll come back and we'll finish off the rest of our skincare routine and then get on to the full glam. All right, I'm back. It's five minutes later, face mask is off. One thing that I actually really love about that face mask is that it's got a barrier care technology, which means that it doesn't strip the natural oils from your skin. So it doesn't leave your skin feeling super dry once you take the mask off. Usually after I do face masks, I feel like my face is shriveled. I cannot wait to put like an oil or a serum on it. But with this, I don't get that feeling, which is amazing. So I'm not gonna go in with a serum today. I'm just gonna go straight in with a moisturizer. And I've got this Neutrogena Visibly Clear Spot Proofing Oil-Free Moisturizer. It's time for makeup. I'm so excited to do full glam, guys. Like you have no idea. I even whipped out some false lashes to put on today. And in case anyone hasn't noticed, I actually haven't worn false lashes in probably like six months. So I'm really going all out for this birthday glam and I am so here for it. I'm so excited. I think I'm actually gonna start off with my eyes today, which is not like me at all, but I wanna do something kind of smoky and bold on my eyes. So I think I'll do my base last just to make sure that it is as flawless as possible. So I'm going to prime my eyelids with the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I actually haven't used this before, but you guys know I love NARS products, so let's give it a go. It's an eye primer. Like how 
terrible can an eye primer be? Do you know what I mean? Let's just do one eyelid and we'll see how it blends and how it compares to the non-primed eyelid. Wow, that's like a really good color. Okay, that is amazing. I feel like usually eye primers don't give me the coverage that I want on my eyelid to kind of conceal like all the dark veiny red bits, but this one has done a perfect job. That's really good. So for my eyes today, I'm gonna go in with the Naked Heat palette. I actually really, really like this palette. It's got all of my kind of colors in it. It's an epic warm toned palette. So to start off with, I'm gonna go in with ounce all over my eyelid just to make sure that that eyeshadow primer isn't gonna move around. So I'm just applying it in like a patting motion rather than a swiping motion because I'm kind of making sure that I'm patting the primer in if that makes sense. By the way guys, for some reason I always forget to mention the makeup brushes that I'm using. So I'm going to list them all down below. Hopefully I'm gonna remember, Erin, editing this, this is your reminder. Make sure you list the makeup brushes. All right, so now I'm gonna take the shade Sourced and I'm gonna run that through my crease using my Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. I'm interested to know how old do you think I am turning? Because I get told all the time that I look like I'm in different ages. Like, it's really, really strange. Sometimes people think I'm way older than I am and sometimes people think I'm way younger. So I'm interested to know because I don't think I've really ever mentioned it here on my channel, like exactly how old I am. So don't worry, I won't be offended. I just, I'm interested to know. So I'm really bringing this up towards the tail of my brow. Personally, I feel like I have a lot of space in between the tail of my brow and where the crease of my eyelid is. So I always like to blend my transition color right up towards my brow bone, just so that when my eyes are open, like looking straight ahead, you can still see a lot of the eyeshadow there. Otherwise I feel like it's just like a big blank space. Now I'm gonna go in with Kayan, 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 don't know how you say it. Is that like the pepper? Kayan, Kayan pepper? I have no idea how you say this, but it's like a dark, burgundy kind of brown shade and I'm gonna run that through my crease. And the brush that I'm using is the Zoeva Luxe Crease 228 brush. So I'm just keeping this shade more precisely in my crease. I'm not blending it up as far as I did with Sourced. And I'm just gonna continue going back in with my Sigma E40 brush just to kind of blend that out and make sure that it's nice and seamless. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with In Fuego. I'm gonna take that color on another Zoeva 228 Lux crease brush, and I'm going to, again, blend this through the crease, but also bring it onto my outer corner as well. And then again, I'm just gonna constantly go back in with my blending brushes just to make sure that the colors are blended seamlessly together. I'm gonna go in with my Sigma Tapered Small Blending E45 brush now into the same color because I really, I just wanna pack it on more in the outer corner and that Zoeva brush just wasn't doing it for me. There we go, this is what I was after. I think I just needed a more denser brush. I right, just had to go and get my Fix Plus because now I'm gonna go in with Scorch and I'm gonna spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus to get like maximum pigment out of this shade. And I'm gonna place that on the center of my eyelid and blend it out towards the outer corner. Oh my goodness. This color is literally fire. Like it is so pretty, so stunning. And now I'm just gonna go back in with En Fuego to deepen up that outer corner a little bit more and just kind of help to blend it in with that lid color. So I just picked up a little bit of Sourced on my blending brush, which is that first crease color that I used. And I'm just gonna use that to buff around the edges and just make sure that everything is blending. 
Alrighty, so now I'm gonna take the MAC pigment in the shade 10, and this is what I'm gonna use on my inner corner. So I'm just taking my Sigma Smudge E21 brush, and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the pigment from there. This stuff gets messy, so I try and just keep it in the container. I have made the mistake before of tipping a little bit out, and then it just goes everywhere, so lesson learned. So I've just sprayed that with some Fix Plus, and I'm going to apply it to my inner corner, or kind of like the inner third of my eye. And this is just creating a gradient between the outer corner, the center, and then to the inner corner. Pretty. All right, so I've got my Neutrogena Deep Clean Purifying Micellar Cleansing Towelettes here. And I'm just going to use one of these to wipe away any of the fallout and clean up like the edges of the eyeshadow a little bit because it got a little bit messy. All right, now it is time for eyeliner. So I'm using the Fenty eyeliner. I've never used this before, so we'll see how it goes. And I'm just gonna try and create a wing. I'm gonna try and keep it small, but who am I kidding? We'll see how it goes. Not bad so far. The only thing, I feel like this Fenty eyeliner isn't as dark as what I'm used to. The formula of this eyeliner is nowhere near as dark as what I'm used to. I'm used to using the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner, but it's just run out, so I needed to try something else. It was easy to apply, like easy to use, but I just feel like it's not as like bold as the formula of the tattoo liner. All right, now it's time to move on to the base. I'm gonna finish off lashes and stuff like that after we finish the base. So I'm going to prep my skin with the Pixi Hydrating Mist. I think I've shown this in a few videos now. I love it, I'm obsessed with it. I use it nearly every time I do my makeup and it smells freaking amazing. It smells like a spa, oh, it's so nice. And then as like a normal primer, I'm gonna use my MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance. And for foundation, I'm gonna use my YSL All Hours Foundation. This is in the shade B30. This does oxidize a little bit, so it looks a little bit lighter than my body at the moment, but I'm hoping that once it oxidizes, it's going to match. I love this foundation. I just never really get a chance to wear it. I'm not usually tanned. I don't fake tan that much anymore. So I'm making the most of being tanned and I'm going to use this finally. And I'm just gonna go over the top and pat that in. So the brush that I just used to blend that in was the Zoeva 104 Buffer Brush. And then I just like to go over with my Beauty Blender just to kind of pick up any excess product and make sure that it's really patted into my skin nicely. I just feel like going over it with a Beauty Blender makes it feel a little more lightweight and not so cakey. Alrighty, so now for concealer, I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I'm gonna use this under my eyes and in the center of my face to highlight and brighten and conceal. I'm just like so not used to seeing myself with this much makeup on. I already feel super glam and it's not even finished. So let's keep going, hey? Alrighty, now to bronze up my face a little bit, I'm gonna use my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I freaking love this product. This is such an amazing bronzer, honestly. I reckon it's well worth the money as well. I think it's only like $60, $70. And like this has lasted me so, so long. So if you're wanting to splurge a little bit and spoil yourself, I would definitely recommend this product. It is freaking amazing. Okay, and now to set all of that in place, I'm gonna take my Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I love this packaging. Hourglass packaging is divine. Like so, so nice.
literally, I swear to God, every single time after I set my makeup, my nose starts running. Why? Why does that happen? It's so frustrating, like every single time. I am going to quickly jump off camera and do my eyebrows. I am doing the same routine that I've always done, so I'm not gonna show it on camera. So I'll be back in a jiffy. Alrighty, brows are done. So now I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. So I'm gonna do a little bit more bronzer, just contour a little bit more using the Tom Ford bronzing powder. I'm really going all out with my expensive products today, guys. Like I feel kind of bougie using all of these, but honestly, it's only because it's for my birthday. I never usually use like all these products at once. So yeah. And I feel like it's kind of justified because I did upload a drugstore full face tutorial the other day, so it's okay. Super sharp. Oh my gosh. I don't think my contour has ever been that sharp before. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I know I said I was going full glam, but that's like crazy for me. So I'm just gonna take my Hourglass bronzing powder. This is the ambient bronzing powder in nude bronze light. And I'm just going to try and like diffuse that Tom Ford one a little bit, but still bronze with this, if that makes sense. I don't know, I'm hoping that this will just look a little bit nicer. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. So now I'm gonna do blush. My favorite, favorite blush is MAC Warm Soul. So I'm gonna use this one today. I feel like this ties in really, really nicely with my eyes as well. Such a pretty blush. Now for highlighter, I'm gonna take my Natasha Denona Glow Powder. This is the All Over Glow Face and Body Shimmer. So you can use this all over your body or all over your face and it is beautiful. And as always, I'm gonna drown my face. You know how it is, you know what I'm like with highlighter. It's my favorite part about my base. Like that Tom Ford bronzer made my cheeks look muddy, like kind of gray and muddy, which is so weird because that's never happened before. Like I've used that bronzer a few times off camera and I've loved it. And now all of a sudden on camera, it looks really gray. I wonder if it's because I layered it on top of the Chanel bronzer. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna finish off the eyes. So I'm going back into the Naked Heat palette and I'm going to pick up a little bit of Enfuego on my Sigma Shader Crease E47 brush and I'm just gonna run that along my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna pick up some of Cayenne, 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 Cayenne. So I'm just going to run that along the lower lash line and smoke it out a little bit more. I want this to be super, super blown out and smoky underneath. By the way, this is the MAC 221S brush. And then I'm just taking my E40 Sigma brush. It doesn't have any product on it, but I'm just using that to just blend the lower lash line even more. Alrighty, so for mascara, I'm gonna use the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras at the moment. I like this one and the new Rimmel Scandalize Wowings Mascara, but because I'm pulling out all of the bougie products in this video. I'm going to stick with the hourglass one for today. I got a lash lift about a month ago and it's just starting to kind of disappear. So half my lashes are still lifted and half of them aren't. So I'm going to curl them anyway, just to make sure that they're all in sync with each other. All right, it's lash time. I think I'm gonna use House of Lashes Iconic Light. They never do me dirty. They're always, always a winner. They always look good. I love them. I'm also gonna try out this new glue that House of Lashes sent me. It's like a weird brownie, greeny color. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just gonna test it out. Why the hell not? If I wasn't wearing liner, I probably wouldn't test this out, but I'm hoping that the liner will cover anything if it doesn't like dry clear or anything like that. Maybe it's their version of like a black lash glue. Okay, this glue dries super, super fast. 
It's so weird. I wonder if it's like a quick drying glue. Because I swear the other House of Lashes glue does not dry that fast. I think Ben just got home. Hey, Bob. I'm nearly done. I'm literally just doing my lips now. I'm so obsessed with how these look. Oh my gosh. I really need to put in the effort to wear false lashes more because every time I put them on, they just like complete a look so perfectly. I'm so happy with how this looks. Yay. All right, so now it's time to finish off the look with lips. So I'm gonna line my lips with this Nude by Nature lip pencil in the shade. Packaging of these is so hard to read. Blush Nude is the color. <laughs> And then for lipstick, I'm gonna use this Too Faced lipstick. I think this is from their like natural collection. This is the shade Strip Search. I actually really, really love these lipsticks. The formula is so nice. I wanna try and dull down the pink in that lipstick a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Skinny Dippin'. This is more of like a brownie nude. That's better. Felt like the pink was clashing with my eyes a little bit. And now to set it all in place, I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Favorite, favorite setting spray. And it has my name on it, which is even cooler. And this is the final look. I'm so happy with how this turned out. It is so full glam for me. I'm not used to wearing this much makeup. I think it's been like close to, I don't know, six months to a year since I have worn this much glam, but I'm kind of, I don't know, I really love it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of this makeup look. Definitely check out the Neutrogena clay cleanser and mask as well. I'll have all of the product information, links and all of that listed down below. Honestly, my skin feels incredible. Usually I do my face mask at night and then kind of redo my skincare in the morning before I put on makeup but you don't have to worry about it with this mask you can literally just do a full face of makeup straight after using it because it doesn't strip your skin of all the natural oils so it's really really great I'm really happy with how all of this turned out as always if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up it really helps out me and my channel and if you're not already feel free to subscribe down below as well thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys next time it's my birthday it's my birthday i must spend my money Ooh, pretty lady pretty lady you should be my